This family has a very special pet, and it's a right hand. Not only is it incredibly fast, but it can also rollerblade. They reside in a gloomy graveyard in Victoria, and the family members possess unusual characteristics. The master of the house, Adams, is a billionaire, while his wife is an elegant thousand-year-old zombie. The daughter enjoys playing murder games, and the son is a not-so-bright goofball. Despite the family's lack of normalcy, their hearts are all kind. One day, the family welcomed a new life, and the baby boy even grew a small mustache. The Adams couple adorned his crib with daggers and repaired toys. This made the daughter and son realize the crisis of falling out of favor. On a dark and windy night, he carried his recently born little brother to the rooftop and threw him off. Mr. Adams, about to open the window, happened to catch the baby. The siblings decided to directly use a knife to kill him. The baby boy still brought off the flying blade barehanded, escaping unscathed. Not only that, he could also breathe fire. Upon discovering this incident, the Adams couple hired a young and beautiful nanny to take care of the baby. The eccentric bachelor, living a single life, fell into the whirlwind of love at first sight when he saw the nanny. The nanny, intentionally or unintentionally, flirted with the peculiar uncle. As it turns out, a nanny's true identity is a serial killer who specifically targets wealthy bachelors. She uses a lure to seduce them and then murders them on their wedding night. This time, her target is the peculiar uncle of the Adams family. Their relationship quickly escalated and they chose to hold a gothic wedding in the graveyard, followed by a honeymoon night. The nanny asked her husband if he was willing to die for her and the man, his mind clouded by desire, readily agreed. However, the woman revealed a vicious expression and attempted to electrocute him. Despite the man's lack of intelligence, he possessed a superpower that rendered him impervious to physical harm. The nanny's plan failed after the Adams couple returned home. Another piece of bad news arrived. Their little son unexpectedly fell ill. Not only did he grow golden hair, but his skin also became rosy and chubby, resembling a normal human baby. The old witch predicted that this baby would grow up to become a lawyer or a dentist. Mr. Adams felt unfortunate, never having encountered such an anomaly within the family. On the other side, the nanny resumed her plan to murder her husband. She packaged a bunch of time bombs as a birthday gift and handed it to her husband, warning him not to peek. She then left without looking back, carrying her luggage. The man remained oblivious, still spinning in the joy of love. The mansion instantly turned into ashes. The nanny confidently stepped out of the car. But at that moment, the man unexpectedly emerged from the thick smoke. The nanny abandoned any pretense, revealing her true self. The man finally realized that the woman had always loved his money. Suddenly, a driverless car arrived. It was the family's pet, the right hand. At a crucial moment, the right hand drove away with the man. The man finally returned home. At this moment, the nanny appeared at the door, brandishing a revolver. Under her intimidation, the entire family was bound to electric chairs, including the shivering right hand. Just then, the recently born baby grabbed a dagger from the crib, sought a gap in the wooden board, successfully climbed out, and even knocked down a large lead ball. In the process, the baby Saturday on a seesaw and comes the lead ball fell from the sky, catapulting the baby out of the roof. Just as the nanny was about to pull down the switch, the baby landed nearby. It picked up both ends of the electrical wire, reversing the direction of the current. As a result, karma struck. In a twist of fate, the baby saved the entire family, and the nanny received the deserved punishment. The Adams family returned to their usual tranquility.